you and love. Bobby Wilson here, love to you there. How you doing? <laughs> you and love, or I could say you and God. Listen to this, beloved, let us love one another for love is from God. And whoever loves has been born of God and knows God. Anyone who does not love does not know God because God is love. So I say to you, you and love. Oh, I can say you and God. Hey, I hope you're doing well. Trust in God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. Okay? Okay, okay. God is love. You and God. Hey, I want to share this information with you. Oh, well, I got to finish that verse out, okay? Listen, from, uh, this is, uh, this is in, uh, you got your Bible with me right quick? I, I guarantee you, I won't be long. First John chapter 4, 7, okay? Verse 7 says, Beloved, let us love one another, for love is from God. And whoever loves has been born of God and knows God. Anyone who does not love does not know God. I didn't say it. It's in your Bible. Because God is love. In this, the love of God was made manifest among us that God sent his only son into the world so that we might live through him. So I say you and love. Hey, if you have received Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, you have life. Woo! <laughs> in this is love. Mm -mm -mm. In this is love. Not that we have loved God, but that he loved us and sent his son to be the propitiation for our sins. God loves you, my friend, you and love, you and God. Get it? Beloved, if God so loved us, we also ought to love one another. Woo! No one has ever seen God if we love one another. God loves. God abides in us. And his love is perfected in us. Okay. All right. That's 1 John chapter 4, verse 7. And I wrote that. I read down to about verse 12. Might read again. It's so good. Hey, listen, I want to encourage you uh, to vote. I vote every election I can, local, state, and national. You have a right to vote. If you work a 9 to 5, if you work a 7.30 to 3.30, if you work a 4-hour shift or if you work a 12-hour shift, 4-12, 3-12s, if you work one hour, you, if you're working, <laughs> you're paying taxes, you have a right to vote. Listen, get set, ready, go, and vote. No, to vote is dope. <laughs> Pass it on to vote is dope. Okay, you want to see what's on your ballot, ladies and gentlemen, and brothers and sisters. I know there's a lot of voices out there. Hey, no politician is perfect, none of them. <laughs> but we have to vote for the policies that they introduce and try to pass. <laughs> hey, there's there's opposition on on uh, bills to help black and brown people. There's, there's, there's uh, policies to help all people. And guess what? They are opposed by certain parties. See what's on your ballot before you go talk about, I ain't going to vote. <laughs> Forget your, as one of my relatives, get your hand parts out there and vote. <laughs> hey, check it out. See what the issues are. See what's on your ballot. Check your registration. Come on. 
Come on. Register to vote if you're not registered. You 18 years old or going to be. <laughs> Check it out. It takes less than two minutes to register to vote. Vote by mail. And there's some states trying to cut that out. Guess what party that is? You find out for yourself. There's, there's, there's a party. There's a, a political party don't want you and I to vote. Okay? Why? Because our vote matters. Your vote, your voice. Don't let nobody take your voice away from you. Vote. It does matter. Hey, maybe you can sign up for some election reminders, okay? And uh, if you think you're too young to vote, I will gladly remind you every, every day, every week, I'll remind you to vote. Hey, it's important. It is important. It, it's your civic duty to vote. We all should vote. Listen, today is April 25th, I do believe. Yeah, April 25th, 2024. As of today, there are 193 days left until Election Day in November. 193 days, 3 hours, 29 minutes, and 42 seconds. <laughs> Come on, brothers and sisters, everybody. Hey, I can't tell you who to vote for, but I guarantee you the parties that are running, there is a Republican candidate, the front runner, and there is a front runner for the Democratic Party, the nominees, okay? Check both policies. The, the MAGA Republicans, what they are, are trying to do, read about it. Check them out. If you like it, that's your choice to vote. Check out what the Democratic Party is pushing. If you like it, vote for them. Don't be talking about what... what <laughs> <laughs> it's not what our country can do for us. It's what we can do for our country. Ladies and gentlemen, brothers and sisters, okay? We got to vote policy. Don't, don't, don't go for all this distraction and all so many voices telling you, do this, do that. The thing I'm going to do is I'm going to study I'm going to make phone calls to these people that are running, not just in the national election, but local. Your local elections are so important. Yes, they are. Get involved. You, young people, you and love. You love yourself. You, you, you want to be taken care of. You love yourself. It's all about you. Okay, vote. Because people who are in office of making decisions is either going to help you or deny you. Hey, all you got to do is look at records. You can look at what. Go check out what these politicians are doing and have done. See how many are for you and how many are not. Okay? Will you do that with me and for me? Hey, listen. You and love or I can say you and God because God is love one more time 1 John chapter 4 verse 7 says beloved let us love one another for love is God love is God <laughs> you get it you and love or you and God and whoever loves has been born of God and knows God. Whoever loves has been born of God and knows God. Anyone who does not love does not know God. I could drop the mic right there. Anyone who does not love does not no God. I didn't write that. That's in your Bible. 1 John chapter 4 and verse 8. <laughs> Woo! In this, the love of God was made manifest among us. 
that God sent his only son into the world so that we might live through him. That's how we go make it through these chaotic times we're living in. We are going to make it, y'all, because it's going to be you and love, you and God, and me and love, me and God. I'm already there. <laughs> I hope you'll come on. You know, there was a song back in the day, Love Train. <laughs> God is love. Mm -mm -mm. Come on, ride this love train that God has. Okay, listen, I'm going to finish this verse. All right, verse 9 says, In this the love of God was made manifest among us, that God sent his only son into the world, his only son, so that we might live through him. Woo, it's a spiritual thing. Hey, 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 hey. Check it out for yourself. First John chapter 4, verse 7. I just read to you verse 9. Well, let's see what verse 10. I'm looking at my notes, okay? In this, come on, say in this. In this, in this is L-O-V-E. In this is love. In this is God. Not that we have loved God, but that he loved us. <laughs> he, he decided love is a decision. He loved us first. And then we return that love to him. At least we should. Are you, are you there yet? Come on, join me. God loved you first. Love him back. How you do that? Obey his word. Keep his commandments. And then love one another. That's it. It's, it, it's, it's time out for all this craziness. God is love. Okay? Get it? Get it, my friend? Verse 11 says, Beloved, if God so loved us, we ought to love one another. And listen, if you care about somebody, you're going to show that love. It's a decision. Love is a decision. It's not about uh, feelings, emotions. I, I know there's a thin line right there, but I'm talking about real love. When you decide to love somebody, that means the good, the bad, the ugly, the purity, the not so pretty, the bad habits, the good habits. If you decide to love somebody like God decided to love me, you and I, regardless of if we love him back or not, he still loves us. So we should reciprocate that love back to him. Hey, you and love. You and God. Verse 11 again, beloved, if God so loved us, we also ought to love one another. And the part of that love exchange is doing your civic duty to vote. Hey, I'm not satisfied with, the, with everything that goes on in that country, especially now. Hey, I, I'm not pleased with error thing either you got to vote policy what, what what are the politicians what is the current president what is he pushing he's pushing college student loan forgiveness <laughs> I haven't heard that coming from the opposing party okay that right there is helping people I can go down the list. That's your job. I already know some things. I'm encouraging you. Hey, see what's on your ballot. Don't, don't just get your news from social media and news clips because some of it is not true. Don't be deceived. Don't be bamboozled. <laughs> and listen, you got to be a witness for the Lord. I found this. Witness for the Lord. You got to be a witness for the Lord. Got to be Come on. A witness for the Lord. Yo, fellas, we going to kick this one real fresh for them. You know what I mean? Too high. Yo, Christians, we got to be a witness. Live the life free from sin When the devil tries to lock you in To sin 
Got to be a witness, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. I want to encourage you. Hey, let somebody know that they are loved by God because God is love. And then you please make plans to vote. Here's the things you can do. Get prepared to vote. See what's on your ballot. Whatever state you live in, check them out. See what's on your ballot. Check your registration. Register to vote. Vote by mail if you can. Definitely vote in person. <laughs> Get election reminders. Hey, if you need a reminder, just uh, tap me. Send me, a, send me a request. Bobby, please remind me. <laughs> to vote. Bobby Wilson, Fun, Faith, Family, Music, okay? Listen, it's good to be with you. <laughs> it's okay to have fun. Listen, I'll talk to you soon, okay? To the root of the matter teaching series and answer sheet now available on amazon our adversary can influence and affect us in many ways in our minds strongholds in our bodies sicknesses and worldly lusts and in our hearts offenses bitterness hurts from neglect and abuse Let's begin our spiritual journey through the Word of God. Tony Garrett's Getting to the Root of the Matter teaching series and answer sheet. Now available on Amazon. Get your copy today. <laughs> 